S-A-T-U-R-D-A-Y, Night Vlog. How's everyone doing? I uh, hope you're doing well. And I'm getting ready to go out grocery shopping with uh, Lauren. We're going to pick up a few things to cook later in the uh, week coming up. And uh, I'm going to stop by uh, the grocery store. They have um, Stop and Shop, some Blu-rays there for $3.99. And I'm going to see what they have. Last time I went there, I went a little bit overboard. But then I was like, you know what? Maybe I should have gotten more. So we'll see what they have. And I know the Dollar Store has uh, movies now, Blu-rays and DVDs. And it's every now and then they'll get Blu-rays, the Dollar Tree. And so I heard last week they had some. So I'm hoping they still have some left. So I'll check that out. Maybe GameStop as well. We'll see. Uh, I have picked up some Funko Pops recently. I'm not the biggest Funko collector out there, but I'll pick a few things up. Like, uh, you know, this is actually, I got this signed up. I'm not sure if I showed this before or not, but I got that one too. I didn't get that one at Hot Top. I got it at a comic book store nearby. And uh, there's that one. I know I have some more. Uh, yeah, I showed this one before too. Uh, but I have some more stuff from there. And uh, I guess here's a quick little overview of some of the collection right there. Just stuff randomly, a little bit of everywhere, piles of stuff still. There's the all the horror Blu-rays, and then of course, I've got uh, everything in this side too. And there's my little dog over there, a little Wrigley, chilling out. Relaxing up, but yeah, here's the rest of the movies. I don't have the light on, but you can still see. Um, I'm gonna get, I still have to get more bookcases, and I've got piles of movies everywhere. I still have boxes of movies too, so, you know. I got a lot more to do, and hopefully I can get the collection organized soon. Here's some Criterions. I know everybody was posting their Criterion pickups for their recent Barnes & Noble sale. Some awesome stuff seeing that. I still keep a lot of my Criterion DVDs, just because some of them will have different covers, and I don't know. I, I'm a little OCD like that, and I'm a fan of the company, so yeah, there's some... Criterion DVDs down there as well. There's still a bunch of uh, the ones that aren't released yet to Blu-ray. I don't know, licensing and rights issues and stuff like that. There's Steelbooks. I need to, I don't know, I need to get more because uh, I have more Steelbooks over there in the corner too and I have Steelbooks in a box. So um, I don't know, I'm going to have to figure something out and move some stuff because I have some more Twilight Time and more Arrow video and stuff too. So I need to figure something out and make, uh, I, I need to get more bookcases for sure. So that's got to happen soon. I'm so close to organizing everything finally. Uh, and my OCD is killing me because oh, the day that I get the extra bookcases that I need, I'm just going to go wild and organize. It's going to be like probably a couple day process to do that, but very excited for that. But uh, I just figured I would go on here and give you guys an update let you know what's going to happen in this Saturday Night Vlog. We might do some cooking. We've done some cooking in some past videos, so uh, we'll... That's a possibility, we'll see, but I will see you momentarily probably in the car on the way there. And hope you guys are doing well. Let me know where you're up to this Saturday night. How's everyone doing? I'm here with Lauren, and <laughs> you focus on the road. <laughs> we're getting ready to go to the grocery store. Uh, we're gonna get some tilapia to cook up and some pineapple to grill, which I've never done before, but you said it was banging. Yeah, and I do love pineapple, so. And this grocery store actually has 3.99 Blu-rays, so I'm gonna check out a couple of those too. And I'm gonna get my favorite drink ever, Diet V8 Splash, the Nectar of the Gods. And there's also a dollar store over here that sometimes sells Blu-rays. So I'm gonna check that out while we're over here too. Maybe GameStop, we'll see. So I'll see you in a second.
I'm gonna pick that up. Wow. Hey, don't mind me dorking out for a minute. You're probably not gonna have any movies, but you had them last week, and I wasn't here for them. Womp womp. So this, sadly, this looks like all to be left. Oi. Well, I'm gonna get this one because I like that lead actress, but that's a bummer. All right, where are we going to? <laughs> Your favorite place? Yeah. GameStop. You could see the tell the thrill in her voice from that. But we did find some gems at the dollar store. <laughs> Not exactly what we were looking for, but GameStop, here we come. Right here. Hope you'll have some good Funkos. And I'm looking for the Star Wars bowls again. Brock Lesnar. Okay, don't pants me in the store, please. At your house. Okay. GameStop offers the best value and selection in gaming. With our I still have a lot of these. That's because when you choose from our final items of pre-owned products, we guarantee you'll always pay at least 10% less than the new version. And if you're a Power of Rewards Pro member, you'll pay at least 20% oh, less than the new. I want these so much. Check out our but I only pay 20 bucks for them. Systems and more, and start saving today. Oh, that's a pretty cool looking dude today. <laughs> That is creepy looking. Heck. <laughs> A lot of these summer exclusives are actually pretty cool. Let you play your way to ultimately become a hero truly unique to you, including a fully non lethal playthrough option. Pre order Deus Ex. This year, EA Sports is bringing all kinds of new gameplay elements from redesigned sound, practice squad, gameplay, and Holy moly, that was a pain in the butt to do. Those pineapple slices were slipping and sliding around. I had to keep washing my hands, but I'm excited to do this. This is the first time I'm gonna try and grilled pineapple, and I think I'm gonna make a grilled pineapple turkey burger. You sure you don't want another one? Yeah. All right, so Grill Master Jay here, and we're grilling up the pineapple and one turkey burger for me. Uh, we had a turkey burger before we went out shopping and stuff, and she said she didn't want another one, so. That one will be for me. I'm gonna make a pineapple turkey burger and I think that's gonna be banging. I've never had it before, but I sound like a cooking genius with that. At least I think so. A little bit of pepper jack cheese on there too. But uh, yeah, this will be the first time I've ever grilled pineapples and I'm excited for it because I love pineapples. Next we'll be doing watermelon. That sounds like a good thing to do. Watermelon's my second favorite food. So I'll be back in a moment once this is all done. All right, here's the finishing touches right there. Grilled pineapple and my grilled pineapple burger, turkey burger, and hopefully it'll be delicious because it does look banging and it smells banging. So let's get ready to see. <laughs> that is a freaking yum-tastic. Oh, the tanginess and the juiciness of the pineapple, the pepper jack cheese on it and the turkey burger, I put a little bit of ketchup. Oh, once it hits your mouth, it's just like love. I gotta say, this grilled pineapple is a freaking great idea. It's warm, but still juicy, so succulent. We are definitely gonna be grilling more stuff on there, more fruits and veggies. I'm gonna grill the corn for sure and the watermelon too. Oh, banging, yum-tastic. <laughs> yeah, next time I'll definitely uh, core the rings first because it makes it easier to cut them into little pieces too, but Oh, so banging. Are you excited to watch Microwave Massacre? No. A little bit? No. A little bit? No. <laughs> How about you, Wrigley? Wrigley says he's excited for it. I think that cover looks freaking fantastic, though. If I saw that as a kid in, like, the video store, 
I would have definitely been all about that. I like the new, newly commissioned artwork right there. And we're gonna get ready to watch Microwave Massacre. I'm expecting super cheesiness. Apparently it's about a guy who kills his wife and becomes a cannibal and craves the human flesh, the taste of human flesh, and has to kill more to eat more. So uh, it's only 76 minutes, which is pretty short. So hopefully it'll be uh, interesting, entertaining. It's one that I've heard about for years. And I think this is the first time it ever had an official release, at least here in the States. So Arrow Video. Thank you for putting it out. Hopefully it'll be decently entertaining. And she's super excited for checking it out. <laughs> right? Is it gonna be your favorite movie ever? Yeah. She's had too many drugs today. She's <laughs> super just today? goofy. Well, probably always. More so today though, you've been- I thought it was yesterday. Just, well, yesterday and today. You've been <laughs> laughing out of nowhere. And I'm, I'm a little worried she's gonna murder me <laughs> while I sleep. I'm just gonna hear laughing, maniacal laughing. It's gonna be like the <laughs> Joker. All right, let's put on the movie that I know you can't wait to watch. Doesn't that just jump out of you? What was that face? <laughs> All right, microwave massacre time. Let's do it. So what do you think of microwave massacre? It was horrible. Was it one of the worst movies you've ever seen? Yes. You want to see it again? No. <laughs> what do you think of a regular? <laughs> Clearly it was trying to be like a black comedy and kind of uh, parodying Campbell movies and stuff like that, but it was kind of rough to sit through, especially the did pan delivery and the lines were terrible. Uh, there was The funniest part for me was the drive through I did not expect the, the lady to the tongue out and the, I don't know, I thought that was pretty funny, but besides that, way campier than I thought. Uh, B minus kind of movie, but uh, it's cheesy, f and I think some people can enjoy the cheesy fun factor of it. But it was short, 76 minutes at least for that. But it definitely dragged on a lot of the spots, and I don't know. I was expecting a little bit more from it, and uh, a little bit disappointed in it. What are you doing? To him? <laughs> You're just grabbing his little paws, his little his nails. Hair is so. <laughs> oh, the, the hair bottom. on the bottom of his feet. <laughs> That's more entertaining than this movie, apparently. <laughs> and when I said B minus movie, I didn't mean as overall grade wise. I meant like cheesy B movie, but even worse. So that's where the B minus came in. But the movie did remind me of the movie Eating Raul, which was another cannibal comedy movie, but that was actually really entertaining. So if you like horror comedies that are somewhat campy, but still really decent, I would check out Eating Raul. This one was just too over the top, too ridiculous and the pacing didn't work for me. It just, uh, it was a disappointment. But again, the artwork really caught my eye. Great newly commissioned artwork, and the original artwork was pretty cool too. But uh, a really great release from Arrow Video overall, so that's at least good. If you're a fan of the film, I think you'll appreciate that. All right, so that was a Saturday night vlog out and about. Went to a bunch of different places. Went grocery shopping at my local Stop and Shop, which actually has 3.99 Blu-rays. It looks like somebody pilfered through them though, because there weren't quite as many. The last time I was there, they had like at least double to maybe triple that amount. Uh, and there's a ton of DVDs still. And I was thinking about getting that RoboCop trilogy for 8.99, and I think that's the lowest I've seen it. Uh, I wanted to, uh, you know, price check it when I got back home, because I was kind of uh, in a rush. We were doing other things too, uh, but I think like the lowest it goes for is like 16 bucks. So I might go back and get that uh, Robocop trilogy. I think it's the remastered one as well. So that's a pretty good deal. I was actually surprised to see that there, but I did pick up some Blu-rays there. And then I went to the dollar store and I'm actually kind of bummed. I had a friend go to the dollar store last week and he got a couple Blu-rays there and it was Blu-rays with the slip cover and it was a Blu-ray DVD digital copy combo pack you know, for a dollar. So right there, you could at least sell the digital copy for like two bucks. And you know, maybe if you want to sell the DVD at like a flea market or something for a dollar, just the disc, you do that too. So it was well worth the value. Um, I remember there's one that was actually, uh, I'd never seen before, it was called On the Road. I thought it was maybe like a Jack Kerouac kind of take. And I've seen ones like that, but it wasn't, it was just like a kind of like a romantic comedy kind of movie, I guess. Um, I want to check that movie out though, because it did look pretty interesting, but uh, I remember he went there and he was asking, oh, do you have any more uh, movies in the back? And the guy was like, yeah, uh, there's a whole ton, big boxes. And my friend was like, oh, can you bring them out? Can I, you know, see them? 
And he was like, the employee was like, no. <laughs> and my friend offered him $10 to uh, look through there and pick out the ones that he wanted. And the employee was still like, no, you know, that's the morning crew. They're going to do that. Come back tomorrow, which is kind of crappy. I'm like, what employee working at the dollar store wouldn't it take 10 bucks to, you know, let somebody look through the movies and buy the ones that they want to? That's kind of crazy. But anyways, I don't think he actually went back there. I have to ask him because uh, he's not usually from this area. We were getting ready to hang out and uh, he stopped by there on the way. So I actually wanted to go back that next day when I knew they were coming out, but I just got busy and this was the first time I could go back there. And of course, when I went there, there was like nothing. There was two movies, which you saw in the clip before, and I picked up one of those, obviously. But I did pick up something else up there, too. I picked up a few different things from the dollar store. Sometimes they have some good stuff. But I'll just go ahead and show you the, the one movie that I picked up was See You in Valhalla. Now, I saw trailers for this before, and uh, I had some well-known people in here. Uh, of course, we got the actress from... Um, Modern Family, who I think is stunning, and I think the other young actress is stunning as well. She's legal now, I can say that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to seeing her in this, and there's a few other recognized people, like I said, you can see some in the back. Uh, this guy who was in the Reba show, I can't remember his name, and he was also in Shameless. He's a pretty good actor, I like him. He's been in some other stuff, too, and then this guy, too, has been in some stuff, so... I don't know, it looks like it's going to be an emotional drama with some comedy aspects to it as well. So I'll give this one a fair chance. Again, uh, Sarah Highland, stunning. Next up, I did get a book because a lot of times they get good books there. And this is, you know, it's got the price on here. Where's the price? Hold on, I'll show you. Oh yeah, 28 bucks right there. So this is usually a $28 book. And uh, right off the bat, the title caught my, uh, caught my eye right there, Night Film. So... And I love that, like, foily lettering cover right there, too. But yeah, I was like, you know, let me read what it's about. And just right away, I was hooked on a damp October night. Hooked. Beautiful young Ashley Cordova. Hooked because uh, my mother's maiden name is very similar to Cordova. It's Cordovana. So right there, I was like, wow. Is found, and then it goes on to say that she was found dead in an abandoned warehouse in lower Manhattan. Though her death is ruled a suicide, veteran investigative journalists... Uh, Scott McGrath suspects otherwise. He probes the strange circumstances surrounding Ashley's life and death. McGrath comes face to face with the legacy of her father, the legendary reclusive cult horror film director. And, you know, right, from right there, I was like, all right, this is sounds like so many awesome things. I love, you know, movies and books set around fall time. And, you know, it's a murder mystery and it involves a cult horror director. Uh, and then the name was so similar to my mother's maiden name, last name. So I just thought this was meant to be so i'm really excited to check this book out and read it and i'll probably do a book review uh, i have a, you know i read a lot um you know so i'm a bit of a bibliophile and uh i was thinking about doing book reviews i know there's a huge community on here that does that so that's a possibility for the future so those were i, I got some other stuff from the dollar store too that, that wasn't really exciting but that's the media right there but i'll show you what i got at oh i did stop at gamestop as well and they they had a few different interesting things, but some of the stuff I wanted to, the, to go down and price a little bit more before I bought it. They had a cool Doctor Strange Funko Pop. They had some like summer convention pops, like, like the Doomsday one, and different Deadpool variants. Uh, but one of the things I've noticed, they have a bunch of ones that are on sale for like five bucks, which are great deals, but they put the sticker right on the packaging. And I feel like the sticker might not be so easily removable. Like it might have some adhesive residue. So I didn't even bother with those ones. It's kind of annoys me when they do that. Uh, but yeah, a lot of those, they have like these uh, tall vinyl ones. Some of those were like two bucks before, so it's kind of crazy. I was tempted to get those, but they're kind of too big. I don't really, I don't know, it would just take up too much room. But I do like the design of them. But I'll show you the movies that I got at Stop and Shop. Uh, they're the three ninety nine Blu-rays. Now here's the thing. They say these are previously viewed ones, kind of like a blockbuster, except they don't come in the blockbuster case, they come in the actual ones. I think they actually have to put that on there as a disclaimer, because I've bought several of these, and some of them still have the security sticker, still brand new, still sealed, digital copies even work for some of them. So I think it's just that they bought out some other store probably, and they just put that disclaimer, maybe like a Hollywood video or something like that. Um, so. Yeah, even though some of them say, actually all of them say previously viewed, not all of them are. Some of them are just actually brand new, still sealed. So, again, you can't beat the prices. $3.99. I picked up 
James and the Giant Peach Special Edition. This was a no-brainer. I don't have this one. I remember really enjoying this one as a kid. So a good Disney film too. You know, if there was, I was surprised they had the Muppets Disney movie. They had a bunch of uh, different ones that I was actually. I wasn't sure if I had. Like, I got to go back for Ides of March. I thought I had that one, and I don't see it in my collection, so I'm going to go back for that one for sure. Uh, but James and the Giant Peach, I remember this one. Uh, again, this is uh, tr it's produced by Tim Burton. That's who it was on here because, again, it says from the creators of Night Before Christmas and all that good stuff. So it has that kind of like quirky, creepy-ish animation style. But, again, $3.99 for that. Very super for it. Uh, next up is Notorious. This is uh, the unrated director's cut, Biggie Smalls. Uh, what's your favorite Biggie Smalls song, Notorious B.I.G. song? For me, I, so many great hits, but Sky's the Limit is one I always remember, too. Uh, when I was a kid, when that video came out, uh, I had a friend that looked just like, uh, like the younger version of Biggie Smalls in that video. So I always remember that. Johnny Mathis. Wherever you are, buddy, I hope you're doing well. It's been ages. Uh, but... This one, I've never seen the movie. I had the DVD, I did a trade with somebody on here a long time ago, and I never ended up watching the movie for whatever reason. Just, you know, it's, sometimes it's hard to keep up with all the movies, but uh, now I've got the Blu-ray, so pretty souped. And again, brand new, still sealed on that one, even though it has the disclaimer sticker. But again, I think they just bought out some other company and they had to put that on there just in case. Uh, but a ton of special features on there, holy moly. But uh, I think they did a good job casting-wise because that guy actually does look like Biggie, so. Next up is Rock of Ages. This is the extended edition. Uh, great cast in here. Actually, I was pulling back the sticker on here to see who that hot chick right there is because she's stunning. Uh, I'm not a big Russell Brand fan as far as acting-wise. Just kind of obnoxious, annoying, plays that same kind of role. Uh, but I have seen, uh, seen some of his YouTube videos and he had that talk show, which I actually really liked him in there. He didn't back down. Um, Alec Baldwin's in here, Tom Cruise, everybody craps on Tom Cruise, uh, but I think he's a fantastic actor, big fan, he's been in so many great movies, check his IMDB, I mean, just killing it, I don't care what he does with his religion-wise, whatever, but as far as an actor, excellent, and he does a lot of his own stunts too, which is, some of that stuff is just crazy, ugh, it would make me pass out, or have a panic attack or something from doing some of those uh, Mission Impossible uh, stunts, especially the one in the Dubai building, holy moly. Uh, and the plane too, um, but Paul Giamatti's in here, a whole bunch of recognizable people. I've heard a lot of people crap on this movie as well, but I don't know. I'm going to give it a fair chance for $3.99, why the heck not? It's one that I've wanted to see for a while, and uh, Juliana Huff is in it. Uh, I'm trying to see who else. I know there's a bunch of other people that are recognizable in here. Catherine Zeta-Jones. Yeah, so Mary J. Blige is in here. I didn't know that, so that's pretty cool, but yeah. Uh, I guess it's just basically about a rock star and uh, his life and maybe his turmoil. But I'm looking forward to checking it out. Uh, again, haven't heard great things about it, but it's one I've been meaning to see for a long time. For the price, why the heck not? And i got to go back there because I'm probably going to pick up that RoboCop trilogy and maybe a few others. Um, hopefully they'll restock because they used to have way more Blu-rays. And they have some great titles. Uh, unfortunately, I had a lot of the ones already, like Drive and you know a bunch of different ones like that. It was really surprise and especially to see Disney movies for $3.99 that's craziness so you know Disney is one of those ones that always kind of retains their value certain companies do we uh, came back uh, we had a turkey burger before because she was starving when she came over and before we went out grocery shopping and stuff like that we got groceries and I'm not gonna show you the groceries you don't care about that <laughs> but uh, so we had a quick burger before we uh, went out and then I was still hungry and she you know she said she'd probably be a little bit hungry afterwards but she didn't want a full meal so I was like, you know what, let's grill some pineapple. She was telling me about that before, and I had never done that. So I had another turkey burger with the pineapple, which was so awesome. It was succulent, juicy, great flavor. Added an interesting combination of uh, flavors for the burger, the turkey burger. So that was pretty cool. And then uh, the fried pineapple by itself was awesome, too. It was still, it was warm, but succulent and juicy. And, you know, it didn't, I was thinking maybe the juices would come all out of it and be dry. And that wasn't the case at all. So that was awesome. Uh, so that turned out really well. You saw a little bit of my grill mastering right there. And I do love uh, cooking on the grill. Oh, I love it any time of year, basically. I'll be out there in the snow grilling. I don't care. And then after we went out and I grilled a little bit more, we ended up watching a movie. And that was the new release from Arrow Video, Microwave Massacre. Now, this is one that I've wanted to see for ages. I don't think it ever had an official release here in the States. But I remember seeing uh, the artwork for it right here, the old school artwork. And I always was kind of 
intrigued by that because I remember as a little kid going to the video rental stores, you know, my eyes were drawn to the horror movies, especially because of the, uh, the cover art and stuff like that. So this is one that I always thought was cool with the title as well. I was expecting to be cheesy. Uh, I was actually excited for it. Uh, it was 76 minutes. I was like, oh, well, it's going to be short. Uh, but wow, this was really dull. And I get, you know, the dead pan delivery was, you know, kind of supposed to be that way. And it just, it just didn't work for me. There was just too ridiculous over the top. And uh, I never thought I'd be be uh, bored by a cannibal comedy movie, essentially, because that's what this was. But like I said, after we watched the movie, it reminds me a lot of Eating Raul, conceptually with the cannibal comedy aspect, but that's about it. Eating Raul was a far superior film in every aspect. Uh, this was just, uh, just did not work for me. It fell flat. I don't really understand the buzz for this movie, because I remember hearing a lot of people talk about this movie, too. And, uh, you know, again, if you're a fan of the movie, you'll enjoy uh, the release. It's a very good release from Arrow Video. They always do a fantastic job with the releases. And, again, I'll just go ahead and show you the reversible artwork, which I did. Uh, the disc artwork right there, two discs, Blu-ray, DVD combo pack. Uh, there's an advertisement suture. And then on the back for more. And then, again, it has the booklet right there. And there's uh, the lead actor, who I guess was played by a comedian. Uh, I think his name is Jackie Vernon. Yeah, Jackie Vernon, who I had never heard of before, and there's the booklet coming out. Uh, he kind of reminds me a little bit of Rodney Dangerfield with uh, the way that he talks and stuff like that, and his delivery, and his jokes. But the opening sequence was, was a little creepy. I was like, all right, cool. And then it just got kind of weird and bizarre, and I mean, there's some boobs. And even that scene was like, it almost seemed like Benny Hill-esque. Uh, it was just, there's some scenes that are just kind of goofy and ridiculous. And uh, it just, it didn't work for me on any level. I was disappointed in it, and I thought it could have been, um, I was hoping it would be something decent and cheesy and fun. This was an example of bad cheese. Definitely uh, disappointed, but uh, I love that cover art. This might be one of the only Arrow Video titles that I'm not gonna keep in the collection. There's been something I've enjoyed from every Arrow Video, at least US release, that I have in my collection. And this might be the only one that I'm not gonna keep. Uh, it's kind of disappointing, but I don't know. Uh, the cover art's awesome. It definitely would have made me uh, buy it or check it out if I was younger, and uh, I guess it worked now as well. Uh, but this comes out on August 16th from Arrow Video, and again, some special features on there as well. And again, I love that they include uh, the booklet with tons of information if you're a fan of the film. And uh, it's always a great release. They do one of the best jobs for any company out there releasing the clear case, special features, transfers reversible art artwork, newly commissioned artwork, disc artwork, booklet, just the whole complete package. And that's what you want for a collector. But the movie was another story. Ah, geez. Basically, he has a nagging wife who's a construction worker, and he kills the wife and eats her, and he has a taste for human flesh, so he starts uh, picking up prostitutes and killing them. And just, uh, man, I can't stand the way this guy talks. Just, I don't know, it's just very drab, and uh, there's some goofy sequences, but... There's only one th uh, scene that caught me off guard when they were going through the drive through I thought that scene was actually funny because I wasn't expecting it. Uh, but that was really the only time I kind of la had any kind of enjoyment really from the movie. But love that artwork though. Awesome artwork. So there you go. Again, another Saturday night vlog, a day in the life kind of thing. Going out, getting some food, grilling, um, getting some groceries, some Blu-rays. Uh, Blu-ray waiting for me at home. Uh, checking out different places, the dollar store, uh, GameStop, and uh, watching the movie. So there you go. There's a Saturday night vlog around the town-esque a little bit. We didn't go out to too many places this time, but still, a good time, a fun night. And uh, there you go. Let me know what you think of these Saturday night vlogs. Let me know if you've seen any of these movies, uh, what you think of the deals right here, and then this uh, book as well, if you've heard of the book. It's from uh, Marisha Passell. I'm not too familiar with her. But uh, again, the premise sounds amazing. Ooh, she's stunning too. Yeah. All right. So I'm hoping for good things about it. Again, I got hooked with the synopsis of it. So I'm uh, looking forward to checking that out. Let me know if you want to see a book review for that. Maybe I'll do some horror movie book reviews. Actually, I did do one book review. It wasn't really a review. It was kind of an unboxing, one of the horror uh, movie books, which is a classic. Uh, you can check that out on my channel. But um, I can't remember the proper name for the, the book right now. But yeah, it was more of a, just an unboxing showing you what was in there and stuff like that. But still pretty cool. But there you go. There's my Saturday night vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed your Saturday. But yeah, let me know if you watched anything tonight and what you did tonight. Leave me a comment or video response down below. Hope everyone's doing well. Take care.